Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and you guys have been wanting a Dragon Blaze guide, an updated guide on everything that has pretty much changed. I'm gonna try and do my best and explain everything. Um, it's not gonna be as flashy as the, you know, old guide, but I recommend you guys watch that old guide just because it can help you out with, like, understanding where everything is for now. Because not a lot has changed. Not a huge amount, but a few things have changed. Uh, first things first, keys are no longer in the game. They're no longer needed, but you can still use them if you have them as a player that was playing before the keys were moved. Um, I still have mine here. They just don't go in your characters anymore because your characters are transcended. So keys are no longer used on main characters, but they are still used on DFI units who are ultimate. So, yeah, just to let you guys know that. And also, I think in the video, well, I'm pretty much going off the video. I'm pretty much re-watching my old video and making sure that I'm getting everything right here. So, right here, you no longer have to use Light Essence, Awaken Essence, or Titan Essence. Those no longer exist in the game. Those have been completely taken out, and there are only Transcended Essence now in the game. And as for DFIs, when you're leveling, well, not leveling, when you're enhancing them, they no longer cost Essence because those are Transcended Essence and DFIs don't need Transcended Essence. Everything Transcended and up starts using Essence. Everything Normal and DFI does not use Transcended Essence. So, yeah. Also, we now have another enhancement, and that is Arch. Arch is pretty much the max enhancement for transcendence now and you need arch to pretty much deify them into overlord so that's how you make overlords overlords are pretty much the strongest unit in the game at the moment when it hits chapter six then we're going to get new higher tiers i believe at least i think they're higher tiers pretty sure they're higher tiers but we're not going to talk about that now and i'm going to get into the souls in a few seconds but yeah new enhancements it only takes three enhancements to get to Arch. One, two, three. And this is all you need is 30 triple S allies and 230 essence. But since I did show you guys the enhancement tiers in that video, uh, where is it? Okay, there you are. You would need this much to get her to max. So yeah, that's 27 triple S allies. Then once they're max, they have to go through to ultimate. And you're gonna need way more triple S allies. Like triple S allies are not difficult to get. Trust me, they're not. It'll probably take like just a week just to get these characters to Overlord, if anything. It, if not two weeks or a week and a half is it doesn't really take as long as you guys are actually thinking but that's pretty much from knight's farm perspective too i've just been night farming and getting stuff for overlords and like i said you get into ultimate then there you go so yeah it is a little bit of a grind but most players just sleep farm so yeah, or leave the game farming while they're at work or doing something else. Now, we also have souls. Souls are pretty much for overlords. And they're a pain in the ass. They're a real pain in the ass. For multiple reasons. It's just because it cost five allies. Let's say I have five warriors. Wait, do I actually have five warriors? Hold on. I do, actually. <laughs> so I can create a soul here. It takes five of these characters to make one soul. One soul. Yeah. Alright, so there is another thing I forgot to talk about for souls, so I'm adding this in. I'm already pretty much done with the video. I just forgot about this part. You can also convert souls into other souls. So let's say I have a priest. I have to convert 
five souls for one soul. So I can turn five priest shards into technically four archer shards, but you require one. And I do mean one of these. So I can't click on warrior, so I can't convert to warrior because warrior doesn't have any souls at all. You need one soul to convert over to five souls, which is technically still four because you're using one of them. So I'm going to convert over to my paladin. Let me show you guys pretty much that. Boom. Now I have five souls and that just went up. So yeah, remember that that's actually pretty easy and straightforward to remember. I just forgot to add that part in. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go with the rest of the video. So I have a whole bunch of souls collected here over like I think a month or two and for them releasing rewards to us. So I've actually been just farming and like I said the pets. Um, so here's a huge tip. Always, I always tell players this every time, always max out your inventory first then get pets and don't waste your rubies on on summons or transcendent essence don't don't do that it's it's not worth it you can make way more from actually grinding with with your stamina here trust me you can make way more just from grinding with your stamina secondly the the main information is no longer fire support nobody actually touches fire support anymore they touch this formation now especially if they have like an encanter or mage in a group but yeah normally everybody's going to be running encanter as their main character um sooner or later archer will probably take over it really depends on really depends on like how the meta changes and everything but if you're using like a physical team Archer will probably be the best if you're using like a magical team. Encanter will probably be the best for you, but then again, Encanter is pretty much overall. <laughs> oh god, so many hiccups, stop it. So now you guys see that there are runes also. Runes are highly needed. So how to get runes are through the daily dungeon that we now have in the game. And everything has changed like tremendously. Like you guys. For that old guide, everything has changed. So here's Daily Dungeon. So you have multiple dungeons you can go into. You have the Ally Dungeon, which only gives you double S allies if you're like doing that. And this one only gives you triple, yeah, triple, triple S jewels. This only gives you um, scrolls. This gives you nine essence. Out of all three runs if you are be able if you're able to do myth that is you'll get a lot less if you're not able to do the myth ranking the myth ranking is actually pretty easy to pass like every player is probably gets through it in like probably a few days but if anything it starts to dramatically drop if you're doing like normal hero and here are the runes runes are really really important you'll probably get like 27 out of this and probably a lot more if the devs like run events for them and then you go in here then you enhance so this isn't to like a main character or anything this is pretty much overall to all characters so let's say if i was to get this to Let's say I'm starting out from level 1 right here. And I don't have anything in it at all. So once I get from here to here, I'm getting strength boost. Once I get here, I'm getting my attack increased. Once I get here, I'm getting my defense increased. This has a... Ch the last one has a chance of um, increasing like... Well, not a chance. It increases like every like 5 or probably 10 levels or something like that let's see if I can find one yeah here it is yeah like probably like every five or ten it it enhances so runes are actually really important to do 
remember that, is going to save you. Alright, let's go on to enhancing your characters. Enhancing your characters is actually a thing in this game now. Uh, the max enhancement is 15. And you only get that through scrolls, which I'm probably... Which is probably in here somewhere. Oh, hold on. Storage. Yeah, these scrolls. So, let me let me go ahead and explain the scrolls. Once you start out doing like the normal C rank scrolls, you can only use C rank scrolls until your character is plus four. Then what you do is you, is you combine them into B request scrolls. Then you can only go up to nine. And I'm pretty sure nine. Hold on. Then it goes from nine to 15 no 10 to 15 i think well obviously since this is the last scroll duh from 10 to 15 and this is the a rig scroll so yeah then you pretty much accept the mission if you actually have it but i'm not gonna waste it on this character since she's already plus 15 so scrolls are actually pretty useful too and once they get to plus 15, they unlock their um, transcended passive or something like that. I don't know. What was it again? I think it was their vulgar skill. Yeah, vulgar skill. They unlock their vulgar skill, then there you go. It's like a little mini passive, if anything. But it, but it increases the stats by a lot, even though your main character still dies most of the time in anything. It's, it's a given. You, you won't survive. Anywho. <laughs> uh, there are new things called transcended, like, weapons. And they're called the Seven Emperor's Equipment. So to make these, you have to literally come in to... Okay, well, thanks for throwing me out. You have to come into Workshop, go to Transcended Equipment, go uh, here... If you have 30 equipment, go ahead and throw it in there. I don't have any essence on this on this character, so I can't really do that. But yeah, you just put in the 30 fragments and the 30 essence, then it creates like... Well, actually, let me just take it off my um, character. All right, I'm going to remove this. Go ahead and get that off. Where did you, get, where did you throw it? Oh, there it is. Go here. It literally just makes this thing right here. So this is what you're going to have to do just to just to combine your normal equipment with this. So this only goes to weapons. It's only transcended weapons, not like transcended armor, gears like that. But you click on the fragment that you create. You go to manage. Then you go here, this middle one right here, combine. You just take this gear, throw it on there, goodbye. It's not like a permanent thing. You can take it off and put it on another gear. But pretty much every time you do like the daily dungeon that gives you these fragments, you enhance it with the materials that you get from it. And as you do that, the Transcendence Weapons skill... Well... Yeah, his skill right here goes up in damage. So it adds on damage, adds on weapon damage too. It it just keeps increasing and increasing. I don't know what the cap is. Maybe a player in the game who already maxed theirs out or something can let me know. Probably like 55 maybe? Not sure. So yeah, that's it for Transcended Weapons. But let me go ahead and explain Challenger Dungeon. So Challenge Dungeon is unlocked like further in a game when you're like level 125 or something like that. Um, so you guys see this level under me. This is not the actual level of my character. This is the level of my Challenger level. My Challenger level only goes up inside a Challenger Dungeon. And Challenger Dungeon gives you points to put into this right here. Your Challenger skills. And these Challenger skills increase your allies' basic stats and all that increase their accuracy crit rate stuff like that but once you get to like 800 or something level you can no longer 
max these out. Once everything's maxed out, they, it starts at uh, like 50. Every last page is like 50 points max. But when you max out everything, it changes to 850 for the basics. None of this changes that way. So, of course, there will be a cap sooner or later for this. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Challenger Dungeons is basically like an end game thing. Nobla has been moved to here inside of um, Challenger Gorg. And I already showed you guys that. We now have Adventurer's Pub where you just pretty much watch AI fight each other and bid on who's gonna win. So, yeah, that's also a thing. We now have Orcs Fortress, which is pretty much an in-game thing. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you there. It's going to be really difficult for newer players or mid-players to actually get through this. It's actually, it actually gets pretty easy if you have Kronos. So I recommend new players make Kronos and um, Selene here. Kronos and Selene are definitely going to help you out through a lot of the content. So pretty much what Kronos does is his skill 3 soaks up all the damage. Like all incoming damage. Like none of the damage is going to touch your team. It's all going to hit him. And at the end of the skill, the skill lets go. And then everybody starts taking damage again. Then his HP goes back up to max. Well not, wait, was it to max? I'm pretty sure it is to max. Oh, 80%. Once it, once it aspires. So yeah, he just pretty much absorbs all the damage to himself. And then he, once it's over, he gets 80% of his HP back and it just goes back to normal until his third skill comes up again. Um, nothing really new here. And nothing really new here except for us getting more raids now. We have this guy here, who's pretty much an alien boss that we fight in a mech against. And this one is where... This one's not for... Not for, like, newer players, because you're going to need two teams. Uh, one magic team and one physical team. I think the physical team fights this guy, and the magical team fights this guy. So, here... I'm going to show you guys the mech that we fight in. You can get the parts for this mech inside of um, Daily Dungeon as well. So that's actually pretty simple and straightforward. And you can hold, you can hold up to 10 allies in here. Make sure to switch out your weakest with your strongest like always. And just keep it up to date. Because the, the stronger the allies you throw in, the more the score is going to boost up. And you can also change between skills and everything as long as you have the character in there. As you can see, I don't have a paladin inside of... Okay, I didn't even change anything. I don't have a paladin inside this group. So the paladin skill won't activate or show up for me. So that's so that's the thing. So that's pretty much it for the fighting side. Um, what else is there? Hold on, let me go check the video. Actually, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, nothing... Not not a whole lot has changed. Everything else that was still in the um, old guide is still the same. Uh, just some minor things going in that this is just to update the guide a little bit and let you guys know how much things has changed now that I have a little bit of time to make this guide. Um, like I said, it's not going to be as flashy as the other one, but I am going to make the new Overlord here. Just because I've actually been wanting her for a while, and she's actually here now. Oh yeah. Also, don't don't take the advice of the trolls in here. When it comes to this game, don't 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 feed the trolls. Ignore the trolls. Like if you actually think a character is really good, don't take advice from most of these guys who are in here. Take advice from the actual people who leave legit comments, okay? There, there are a lot of trolls in this game when it comes to reviews. And when I mean a lot, I mean 
a huge amount of trolls. Alright, I'm on my encanter now. And all my essence are over here. So now I can finally create her. Jesus. And now I can enhance her since I have a lot of souls for her. Yeah, this is how much it's going to cost you. <laughs> this is literally like a month of farming. Now I can get her to max. This character is going to be great for my physical team. Now her score goes up, but a little bit is what she would think. But I don't have any like equipment or anything on her, so obviously it's not gonna go up by much. Uh, I'm gonna take out you, since you are completely useless now. Wait, what? Oh, okay, the game just did something really weird. Don't take out my, <laughs> out my Aaron. She does not need to be taken out. Now it's been boosted up a little bit more now that I have gear on it, and. Now it should be boosted up a lot more. So yeah, leveling does matter. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and switch you out. So that's it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Hope this helped. Let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?